Hello and welcome to the first of a multi-part series that will be a collection of short videos showing you how to get started building Metro style applications for Windows 8 using HTML and JavaScript. Let's go ahead and dive in with a simple sort of first principle example. So I'm in Microsoft Visual Studio Express 2012 for Windows 8. I'm going to start a new project. There's various templates you can choose from. We're going to use the navigation app template. It's a good place to start for simple examples like this. And we're going to start off building an application called TweetScan. Not that we'll get very far in this video, but building a Twitter app is like the new hello world. So we'll start with that. And a navigation app basically sets up our application to be a single page style HTML and JavaScript uh, application. So we'll go ahead and start that up. And what we're going to do is ignore this initial kind of default setup, which is using the Windows library for JavaScript, which is a, a framework that helps you develop uh, Windows applications using HTML and JavaScript that target Windows 8 specifically. And what we're going to do is we're going to come in and right click, and we're going to go ahead and add a new item to our project. And what we're going to do is just add an HTML page. We'll just leave it named page.html. As you can see, there's, there's nothing in here. We're not loading any script. We're not loading any style sheets. It's just an empty uh, HTML document. And what I'll do just to save a little time and give us something to look at is I'll go ahead and insert um, some real simple tags here. So we have an H1 tag saying, you know, it's in my demo page. I've got a button saying click me. And then we'll have a target div where we can drop out some output once we get to that point. Now what I'm going to do is open up the package manifest over here. Now, we'll go into this in more detail in future screencasts as well. But the one thing we're going to do is tell the application that instead of starting with default.html where all of the WinJS infrastructure is going to be set up, we would rather start by running page.html. So we'll go ahead and save those settings. And I'm going to go ahead and run this application here locally. And what you're going to see is that we are now running a Metro application that's really using IE 10 to render and execute any code that we may have, but it's being hosted inside of uh, WinRT. And it allows us to leverage those tools and techniques. So this looks like a web page, but it's actually a native Windows application for Windows 8. So we're going to stop that. And let's go ahead and build on this idea. Again, keeping things relatively simple, we're going to come in and add another item into our project. And this time, what we're going to do is we're going to add a JavaScript file. And just so I don't forget, I'm going to switch back to page.html and just drag that in like I would on any other web page to reference that. We'll go back to the script. And what we're going to do is just wire up some very basic functionality. Nothing too complicated. So let's go ahead and grab window on load. And we'll say this is going to be a function that will run, obviously. And what we're going to do, again, I'll just save a little bit of time here. We'll go ahead and put a code snippet in. This is basically going to go, again, using a very simple approach. We're going to use a get element by ID and find our demo button and add an event listener for the click event. And what we want to do is do something whenever um, that uh, button's clicked. So let's go ahead and add do something. And what we'll do with do something, again, keep it very, very simple here. If I can quit fat fingering on the keyboard. And what we'll do is just, we'll just reference target directly. We'll go ahead and set the text content and we'll just say bang. Now just to be clear, as I'm doing all this, I can go ahead and set breakpoints in here. So if I run this application, we'll come in. Now we can see my demo page. I click, click me. I come down into hit my breakpoint in my do something function. I'm gonna go ahead and set the text content to bang. And we come back and we see we've set this to bang. I can even use the debugger here to come in, for example, and maybe I'll step over this and we'll look and say, oh, you know what, 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 what would the output look like if I said boom instead? And now we'll keep running the application. And so you can see I can change values and variables and things like that, just like I could in other debug tools. So really, really cool. Now we can continue this example even further and come in now and say, well, that's a pretty ugly page. So why don't we add in a style sheet? And again, we'll just go back to page.html, drag that style sheet into our page. And then again, I will save us some time through the magic of code snippets, add in some simple CSS here, and go ahead and run the application one more time. And now you can say I'm getting nice formatting, or nicer formatting, I guess I should say. I can click me, my breakpoint's still set. We don't need to worry about it anymore. And then we'll go ahead and 
run the application and you can see I've styled the output. Now all we start to do with uh, a Metro style application leveraging WinJS and the kind of the built-in infrastructure is we start to provide you just additional functionality. So just real quick, just to show you one of the very simple things we do, I'm going to grab from the references for all of my uh, Metro style applications, I'm going to just grab the style sheet that's kind of the Metro defining style sheet. And now if I run the application, you'll see that all of a sudden I start to get this really nice Windows Metro look and feel just by adding a style sheet. And that's really all we do is just at using the core technologies provide you a framework for building great HTML JavaScript applications on Windows 8. So that's the real quick example. We'll start to move forward in the next video and show you how you could leverage things like jQuery, for example, when you're developing these apps. And then we'll move deeper into actually leveraging WinJS. So hopefully this is a good quick introduction and we'll see you next time.